Hello beautiful Leo and welcome to your love reading for June 2020 and this is good for your sun, your moon, your rising, your Venus. Cross watching too is fine and if you haven't already please do subscribe and if you like this video give it a thumbs up. For those of you who don't know me I'm Julie Poole. And I do all sorts of things on this channel. I am taking bookings for readings. If you'd like to book in, the link is below. It's an automated online system. You don't need to email me. It's all there for you. All right, my darling. So what have we got for Leo, for love, for June, please? Mercy. Okay. All righty. Mercy. Right. <laughs> that says it all. Who do you need to be merciful with? Yourself? with another what's going on for you my darling leos let's have a look tell me more let's see what the tower have to say on both of these okay so we've got the two of swords we're not very straight today let me straighten up because it'll annoy me and it'll annoy you <laughs> all righty tell me more for leo please nine and the ten of wands something hard work is coming to an end yeah 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 all righty let's have a look then my darling people now so we've got the two of swords something undecided not sure what to do related to a relationship from the past or uh, yeah, both actually. For some of you, this is both a relationship from the past that you've been in some time or uh, the rekindling of an old relationship from the past. But it's also related to children. That's holding you back somewhat. OK, now we've got the nine and the ten of ones, which is all about struggle and difficulty coming to an end. We're moving from the nine to the ten completion of this um, this situation we've got high priestess there all about your intuition your inner guidance wanting to take you to a new beginning i think it's the camera that isn't straight rather than the cards that's better isn't it guys yeah all right so and then we've got the king of pentacles with the king of cups two kings here all right this is going to be a man in your life or a man wanting to come into your life all right so let's have a look. The overall energy with Metatron, Archangel Metatron, is all about mercy, forgiveness, kindness, compassion, being fair, being reasonable, being merciful. OK, now, how is this applying to you? This is a general love reading. So how it applies to you and notice it's the king here with the crown that's applying that mercy. And we've got these two kings here as well. Now, Metatron is the boss of all the archangels, okay? So this is quite a senior energy, quite a powerful energy. And that's what we've got with the circle and the light that we're needing to move that mercy into the situation. So if you are single, that mercy is for you. Be merciful with yourself. Be forgiving of yourself. If past relationships haven't worked out, then you need to forgive yourself for anything that you might have done to sabotage it unwillingly, unknowingly. Any relationships you've been drawn to that were a disaster, toxic. Forgive yourself, okay? Now, staying with singles for a minute, we're going to look at couples as well, but staying with singles for a minute, you're undecided here about past relationships. Undecided, that two of swords is all about, I don't know, I don't know. I can't think clearly. I can't see clearly. I don't know. Now, what don't we know? The Six of Cups is the card about children and the past. So I feel that because of the energy here of mercy coming in, that many of you have been blocked from moving forward into a new loving relationship because of previous hurts from the past that haven't been let go of either that you can't forgive them or you can't forgive yourself and so that mercy card is coming in to say look by doing that by forgiving yourself all right and some of you have been single a long time all right and forgive yourself you know I one of my clients the other day said what's wrong with me that I can't find a relationship and I said absolutely nothing is wrong with you my darling nothing 
but sometimes our past can get in the way all right it creates beliefs and blocks within us that stop us aligning with love or that when it does come through we sabotage it unknowingly unwittingly so this is the time with that mercy energy to let that go leo this is the time where we can release it put the burden down that the nine of of one um, is all about that nine of wands it's all about it's such hard work carrying this by myself and I'm, I'm ready to put it down I'm ready for a new beginning and I'm ready to start again and so we put it down there's the 10 we're putting it down this is completion this is endings of that burden anything from the past that is blocking you from love I want you to really meditate pray on our intent however you do it to Metatron thank you for helping me to be merciful with myself and others who have wronged me, myself or others, that I am letting it all go. I am choosing to move forward. I am ready to move forward into a new love. OK, now the high priestess, this is your inner guidance system. Your higher self is really trying and I want to say desperately trying to move you towards the judgment card, which is freedom, rebirth, rising up from that burden rising up into liberation because your higher self is trying to guide you towards a love that is beautiful for you but we have to clear the decks to do that and mercy is the key then we can have this rebirth this rising up and we can start to be able to connect yay okay so we can then draw to us like a magnet this is the law of attraction in action drawing to you like a magnet the right person for you male or female doesn't have to be you know a particular gender but this is a strong energy of security and compassion so the king of pentacles is somebody who is reliable and fair and honest and secure financially on their own two feet yeah secure in themselves and the king of cups is all about that gentle open heart that gentle compassionate sense of well-being strongly associated with family um, and security because of saturn there in the background so there is a relationship wanting to come towards you here and what i want to do is actually marry these two up in terms of their energy that when we have that lovely sense of security with the king of pentacles with that compassionate warmth of the king of cups then there is a beautiful beautiful combination so if we are single guys we are definitely moving towards leo this opening up and allowing new people to come in now for those of you coupled up um now the last few months has been extraordinarily challenging for many many couples because it's been a stressful time you've been you know locked down together 24 7 many of you or you are very much apart during this time separated during this time which is also hard so yeah we can't see clearly where this is going or what's going on if you've been arguing a lot um you know really starting to become aware that you're not particularly content that this relationship is hard work that I don't want to carry on the way it is. I haven't known what to do about it. I haven't been able to see clearly. I just know I'm not very happy. And I keep thinking back about the past or I keep thinking about my children and I'm hanging into a relationship because of the kids. And that is, that's your decision. That is your decision. But you need to ask yourself, what example am I setting my children to settle in a relationship I'm not happy? Um... I'm teaching them to do the same rather than we all deserve to be happy all right this is where your indecision is very often and it's not always you know yes I'm a therapist but I'm never going to advise you to leave a marriage that is your decision your choice um, but very often two single happy parents are better for the children than two together that are miserable because some of you have been through really quite a rough time in your relationship. The nine and the ten says, this can't go on. I've got to do something about it. Something needs to shift and change. Just because we've been together forever doesn't mean we have to stay together forever. All right. So 
it's about taking some time for you in mercy in gentleness for you and the other to bring that burden to an end to then trust your instincts and intuition to rise up and pass that and back into a stable, secure, loving relationship. We have to shift it from where it is now, which is for many of you, it's hard work. And we want to shift it into stability and compassion. All right. And how we do that, how we get from here to here is using mercy, forgiveness, compassion, Okay, being merciful. So, okay, my husband or wife is being really difficult and challenging, but I'm going to step into mercy and forgive and let go and let's move back into a nice, strong, solid place, right? Now, for others of you, you will make the decision that, you know, this is a long time coming and there were already a lot of cracks and we've been papering them over for a long time and I'm not prepared to paper them over anymore. Some of you may be drawn to an old friend, may be tempted away to an old friend, all right, because the Six of Cups is all about people we've known a long time that we grew up with. It's also children. So some of you here could be in a state of flux about, you know, uh, perhaps I should have stayed with my first love or perhaps I can reconnect with my first love or... Um, somebody that I'm still friends with from the past would make a better partner for me. You're working through that and out the other side, but you're wanting to come into this energy of that king, feeling strong, feeling that your partner is strong and you are strong and supported. So it is a month of change and flux for Leos with love. The main energy here is mercy. We're getting clear on what we want from the past, whether what we wanted before is still what we want now. And we are moving forward. We're rising up and out with the, the judgment is a rebirth card. We're having a rebirth. We are ending the struggle and we're moving into the security and stability that we all deserve. All right, Leo, I hope that helps give you some guidance and insight into the energy for love for June. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate your time on my channel. And if this reading resonated, give it a thumbs up, a like, a share. And if feel, you know, if this resonates, do comment below, you know, claim this reading. It helps you to align with it. All right, my darling Leos, have a wonderful month and I'll see you for the weeklies. You take care. Lots of love. Bye bye.